Hey everybody, Keith K here, and welcome back to our Dawn of Man playthrough. Uh, this is going to be episode three. In our last episode, we had just entered the Mesolithic period, so we're going to see if we can get uh, through Mesolithic uh, by the end of this episode, and uh, and maybe even into the Neolithic. So let's get started. As we left our uh, village last time, we are uh, in a pretty good setup. We've got most of our production firing on uh, all cylinders, so to speak. We've got plenty of supplies here. We've got uh, our village kind of laid out in a little more of a grid, plenty of storage and production going, and we had eight knowledge uh, right at the end. And so I think what we're gonna do is, um, let's go ahead and unlock spirituality. And that'll let us build Uh, that'll let us build the totem here, uh, which is, a, I think, is kind of a cool little feature for the center of town. I like to put it right near the the campfire there, or the hearth, so to speak. All right, that's going to take a number of resources here that you'll see our villagers will bring over. Build that up, then they don't have to walk quite so far. Uh, to the skull, the skull poles over here and over by the burial mound. Uh, with that, let's check our burial mound. Uh, as your village grows, yes, this is pretty full. Um, might be worth building another one. As your village starts to grow, you're going to need to expand your funerary options. Uh, the dolum is a good one, too, um, but we've got to get a little bit further. So let's just build another burial mound here. A look at the totem. I think that came out pretty good. Yep, as you can see, as you hit different milestones, uh, whether it's production in the form of the raw skin there, or hunting or collecting, um, as you hit certain milestones like 10, the first one, 10, 100, you'll get additional knowledge. All right, so we're headed into winter here. Let's see. And this is neat. There's a couple different models, so you can see this is not exactly the same thing. Um, but we don't want to be uh, just like everything else, right? We want to have capacity for people. We want to have capacity for storage. You need to keep these uh, from getting filled up because then the bodies will just kind of lay around and our villagers won't be able to recover their morale. Oh, okay, so we've got a wolf attack. Let's see where that is. Yeah, right in the village. All right, so this will be a good one. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Already got a little bit of blood on the ground. Looks like our dogs jumped in and immediately attacked, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and sound the alarm. And they're going to chase people right into their tents. My goodness. All right, so when we turn that off, they'll gather the resources from those wolves. You can see our folks are not too happy. Uh, that could be because they're hungry. They go to the hearth, eat, uh, hang out, and then visit the totem. Oh, we had somebody killed. Look at that. Uh, a child, it looks like. A boy. Oh, that stinks. Let's hunt this wolf. I don't know that they'll be able to catch him, but... It does happen. Oh, and the wolf is hunting the boar that we're hunting. So that's interesting. Oh, hold on. You're not going away. Let's get them all over here. he eat the entire carcass? No, he just left the carcass there. So we'll scavenge that. But let's get him. Keep that predator. If he's going to attack our folks, we've gotta, we're going to have to call him out. There we go. All right, so we got a little extra meat for the winter. That's great. Uh, we've got eight knowledge, so we should be able to unlock something else here. Let's go with the, let's see, 
Bone knife and bone sickle. The bone sickle won't come into play just yet, but the bone knife is a good use of bone, but I think we'll go with the sledge first. Uh, this will be our first transportation item. Oh, we've got the trader. Let's slow this down one step at a time. So his commission is low. Uh, let's see what we're willing to part with. Um, got quite a few of these. They're only worth two. Those are easy to make. Let's see, is there anything we want up here? Let's grab the fish for sure. Um, we don't really need any of these, even though his, his commission is low, where it might be worth going for a trade. Um, we don't really need all that much. All right, but back as I was saying, uh, we had unlocked sledge making so now if we go to our build menu you'll see that transportation is unlocked um, we can build both transport posts and sledges so transport post is just a place for them to be tied up um, so we'll put those I think right near our storage is probably a good good spot for this although maybe let's uh, let's rotate it there now the sledges um, you can just drop them anywhere. You can really just kind of put them wherever you want and the villagers will come and uh, make them. I think five is probably more than enough, but we'll make five. Uh, and basically, they're, bas they're just a little uh, sled, really, uh, that they can put resources on. So for heavier items, um, they're easier to move around. And you can see we get some knowledge for building the first of both the transport post and the sledge, and then they'll just park them here. They'll be able to park two of them, and we only built one of these, so let's build one more. Uh, I mean, they're actually quite fine to be left lying around. It's not a big deal. Um, and a lot of times villagers will just leave them wherever they're done using them. But it will allow your villagers to move more materials and move materials faster, so they're well worth making. All right, we'll just speed this up until we have something else to uh, to show, whether it's an attack or unlocking our next knowledge. All right, and we've got seven knowledge now, so we can unlock another technology. We've got bone polishing, archery, and grain processing available to us. I think we're going to go with grain processing uh, because it will let us build the mortar, um, and that will allow us to uh, create flour from wild grains that we can harvest with the sickle, <coughs> and then or buy from the trader and then uh, bake bread. So let's unlock that. All right, and we'll take a look at what that enables. In terms of production, we can build the mortar. And I think I'll put this just near the crafter. And it's just what you might expect. It's a, it's a large mortar. Um, it's just gonna require two stones here, so let's fire this up. And people can, uh, they can harvest the wild grains that we have around and uh, create flour from that. All right, and we've had another trader show up. Let's take a look at what he's got here. Low commission, so we like that. Let's uh, let's stock up on some grains. I don't think we really need any of the other resources. We've got quite a bit. Uh, and what we can spare. We always have plenty of bone here. And then we'll just go up one stone to make it an even nine. Uh, we have a work area exhausted obtained stone. All right, so we need another stone work area. Uh, and there's plenty right here, but I'm gonna go uh, look at some that's a little closer to our village. See if we can get all three of these. Yeah, we can. So that'll keep us stocked in stone for a while as long as we've got those um, picks right here. We've got flint picks right now. And it's the fall, so these grains can be harvested now that we can grind them into flour. Right, and you can see that by harvesting grain for the first time, uh, we've gotten some additional knowledge. 
just like every other resource. That is one lucky boar. We've tried to hunt him twice. Okay, and here's something I did want to make sure to show you is your your buildings um, can fall into a state where they need to be repaired. So you can see compared to this one, it looks a little tattered. It's got a hole in it, some rips, uh, and it it will all be set. Uh, they will all be set to auto repair. You could turn this off if you wanted to, um, or you could just recycle it. Say so he's come over with some supplies, and you'll see that's going to get fixed automatically. But say you're in the process of changing the layout. You could let you know layout of your your homes, which I've done before in this series, um, to make it a little more lined up. You could just let it um, get into that state and then recycle it, and then build a new a new house at a new location. But for the most part, you don't really need to worry about it. You'll see it pop up that it needs repair. The only case um, where you might have an issue is if you don't have enough resources to repair it. So if you see that more and more of the houses need to be repaired. Uh, take a look at the resources that go into it and see if you need to focus your villagers there. Otherwise, they'll maintain their buildings on their own. All right, let's see where our wolf attack is coming from. So this is pretty far out. We're not gonna, we're not gonna set the village to alert because they're really way too far away to do anything about it. Um, our watering hole. Where's our villager? Uh, so I think he's the only villager out here. Oh, there's two. Let's make sure they're both engaged in the fight. Well, that wasn't much of an attack. No storage slots left. All right, so we've got to build an additional storage tent. Now, later on in the game, we're going to have different types of storage available to us. Uh, storage hut is just a, an upgrade, really, of the storage tent. But there will be um, sort of resource-specific storage, like the granary, where it'll keep food. Um, so we want to overbuild but we do need another storage. Let's just put it back here. It fits with all the rest of the storage. It's a little bit further out, but this is kind of our resource area, so we'll keep that there for now. You know, and with winter coming, we want to make sure that... Let's go ahead and prioritize this. Um, we want to make sure that we have as many resources put away as we can. And I don't... We would get a little more storage by uh, increasing our um, tents for... You know, there's a little bit of storage in each one of these tents, but we're, we've got plenty of room right now. We can get another five villagers before we have to worry about it. All right, so we can see that our mortar has created its first sack of grain because we're getting a knowledge for that. Uh, and we had a flint work area exhausted. Let's just place another work area for flint. Um, and the closest one is this mine right here. So we might as well do that. And they'll just start to mine this <clears throat> now that we've got the uh, picks available to us. And we'll it'll clear that out. You know, there is loose flint down here. We could um, grab that too. We might as well. Our workload is a little high, but um, now that that storage tent is built, maybe it'll drop back down. Yeah, it's down a little bit. 
So we will need to worry about flint and hopefully we... Yeah, there's some here. That's not too bad. Looks like there's some back here. Oh, that's a megalith. That's not flint. I don't want them going too far away for flint, but it looks like there's plenty around still, so we won't worry about that just yet. All right, we've got uh, two folks joining us and one baby being born, so now we're, we're two away. Uh, let's see where this is happening. All right, so this cave lion is approaching our village, so this is definitely gonna be worth sounding the alarm. I think we've got a large enough population here to defend against this. So let's go ahead and end this. All right, and what do we have here? A dog. So let's just checking to see if it was another cave line so we can put everybody back to work. Get a, a few resources. Nobody got, uh, didn't look like anybody got injured, so that's good. Um, and I was saying we are two away from our capacity, so it's probably a good idea to get another, <clears throat> excuse me, another uh, hut built. So let's go to residences. We'll find our tent. Kind of keep this layout. All right, and that... Um, that extra knowledge from building our tent sling is going to give us enough to pick an additional technology. Uh, and I think we're going to go straight to stone polishing here because um, that's going to give us the most bang for our buck. I mean, archery is great, uh, but we aren't getting a lot of raiders right now. And pulse processing, um, you know, we'll want that to be able to grow crops, you know, to get us to the next level. But we can worry about that. Uh, a little bit later so let's go ahead and unlock this this is going to give us the bone knife and the bone sickle so as always we'll come back to our crafting tent our crafter once we've got um, an upgrade like that and take a look at where our production is at so you know i think we definitely want to uh let's let's focus on the bone knife and we can stop with the biface uh, and save our flint for these others and Let's go ahead and start producing sickles. We can't, um, we won't use them just yet too much. Uh, those will really be important once we are planting crops, but let's go ahead and start producing them now. Um, we're also producing the bone harpoon. Yeah, I don't think we need to turn the wooden harpoon off. Um, if we wanted to conserve on wood, I might turn that off, but I think we're doing fine. So we can see we've got another tent that needs repair while this one is also getting built. You can see its condition is about half, a little less than half. And again, it's set to auto repair. So the villagers will just take care of it in due time. Um, why isn't anybody collecting that? All right, so now we've got 27 capacity off of our 23 uh, current population. So we've got room for four or more. So we'll hold off building additional tents. Um, maybe put a couple in this direction next time. All right, we've got a cave a hyena attack. Let's see where that is. Back here on this villager, so they're not gonna run to the village. Uh, let's just make sure they're both attacking him. And we lost one villager. Looks like, alright, so 
that was unfortunate, but I didn't want to rush others over there. Um, didn't make sense. Let's get these. Maybe they'll stop coming around. We've got quite a bit to harvest over here. Well, they're probably going to wander too far away. Yeah, and you can see things will go bad. Um, I mean, it's actually a sign that we've got plenty of food in storage and food production that we're having them decay. Um, but it would be something to keep an eye on if we didn't have enough storage, really. All right, and we can see that uh, we've hit a new milestone of 25 uh, villagers, and so we got plus three knowledge. That put us over the uh, seven for our next technology, and let's go ahead and unlock the stone polishing. Uh, that'll let us build, uh, or sorry, craft uh, better sickles and better knives. Again, we'll ch check our uh, crafter tent. Let's definitely create flint knives. Um, I think we can do just fine with the bone sickles for now. And we'll leave, let's see, what's our knife? Does everybody have a knife? Probably all the adults. Uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave both the bone and the flint on for now just to make sure that we're producing enough. All right, and we did have somebody die of old age. So that's a good reminder. Looks like we've got somebody sad here. Yeah. Uh, just to check our capacity. We have plenty of capacity here in our burial, burial mounts. So we don't need to worry about that. And we'll see, they'll pick them up and bring them up there and bury them. Just like we had seen before. Oh good, they're harvesting that. Yeah, it's the fall, so we want to check our grains. We may want to go ahead and have people harvest these. Could put a work area here, but we've got a work area over here. And you can see he harvested all that. Uh, our workload's pretty low, so that's fine. Here you can see new trees growing in. So again, you've got to move your work areas around over time. Oh, and they're paying their respects here now that he's been buried. Now we've got plenty of resources, so I think I'm going to build an extra tent. We don't need one just yet, but we may be able to attract villagers a little faster. Put one right here. Trying to get it even, but I guess I'm not going to be able to. Hopefully they'll get that built before winter comes. It is just about here. I'll set that to higher priority because we've got plenty of food and wood to get through the winter. I'm not particularly worried about that. And you can see up here, we're in fall and we're, we're closing in on winter. Got a new human born. We've got room for five more. All right, we've got another cave lion attack. And this time they're right across from the village. Uh, we've got three people on this, so they may be able to handle it. Let's just see what happens. I don't know that we can get anybody there. No, they're going to be able to handle it. If we raised the alarm and then tried to um, have villagers run across, I doubt they would have gotten there fast enough. That worked out just fine. We just about made it through the winter, so we should get plus one knowledge, which will bring us to six. Uh, we just need one more. To unlock yeah there we go our additional 
technology. So I'll be back once we've achieved that. All right, and here's something to be aware of. Um, it says uh, one of our villages has contracted an infection and you get this little, I guess, virus symbol over them. Uh, as far as I know, there's not much you can do. Um, I hope that they heal. Uh, if your animals get an infection, you could uh, actually slaughter the infected animals. Uh, you can't do that with the villagers, certainly. Uh, so it's just something to keep an eye on, and hopefully it doesn't spread or kill uh, villagers, but it can and does happen. You know, we've got so much food production going on. I think I will turn off this watering hole. Hunting ground. We know we can actually, you know, put it back up out here if we need if uh, we need to in the future. Uh, we've had some of our cured meat actually um, go bad, which means we've had it for quite a long time. So let's, uh, let's free up some of those villagers and you know, that's a pretty long walk. <laughs> uh, and as we saw before, they're isolated if they uh, do get attacked. You know, while you're waiting for advancement, it's always worth checking around to see what are some of the other resources that are nearby that we'll need later in the game? Copper, iron, um, you know, those are going to be important to us. Once we get uh, into the, the copper age, we'll want copper, you know, bronze, iron. We'll need iron here. Um, so it's good to start, you know, being aware of what you have and where um, so that when, you're, when the time comes, you can start to uh, quickly gather those resources. All right, so we've had a couple of villagers pass away and we have had some more joined. So we're sitting at 27 of 30. Um, let's see how our capacity, plenty of capacity there. Go ahead and build another tent. Um, I don't want to overbuild because, you know, it's one more thing to maintain, but also because uh, eventually we'll be able to upgrade these and you know we could make end up with a big jump in empty uh, capacity certainly not the end of the world and you know it's not gonna it's really not gonna hurt you but just trying to balance resources All right, we've got a big mammoth that is uh, kind of taunting our villagers and uh, making a bit of noise and display over here. Uh, this is definitely dangerous to go hunt. You can see it's red, uh, but let's see if we can't just grab everybody nearby. And the kids won't come. They won't, you can see the, if you happen to grab some kids, they won't uh, go to, into a hunting mode, but if we grab all the adults, a bunch of dogs came along. And let's just see what happens here. If we can take him down. We don't need the extra meat, but um, you know, we do want to turn this into our farming area at some point in the future. And also you can just see how dangerous these guys are. They will charge your villagers immediately. Tossing some around, the dogs will get involved. All right, but it's quite a kill for our villagers. 14 meat, 10 skins, and four bones. And I don't think we lost anybody. A few people might have gotten hurt, but they will heal. Yeah, uh, these dogs are alive. Yeah, so this, um, you know, given it was so close to camp, we were able to grab all of our villagers. Seems like uh, something worthwhile and something, you know, to show you if you decide you want to try to hunt bigger game. Uh, now our villagers will come and start extracting resources. And they'll have to make a few trips. Let's take a look at this trader. High commission and nothing that we're desperate for, so I'm gonna just leave that be. We won't mess with him. Uh, especially when we have so many resources, I'm not gonna buy from a trader that has anything other than a low commission. 
Um, and while we were talking, we actually got enough um, knowledge to go ahead and grab our next one. So we'll grab archery um, since pulse processing uh, will be the last thing we need before going to the Neolithic. We might as well uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the archery. All right, so we need six more, and then we'll have everything in the Mesolithic. And then we'll need another 15 to step into the Neolithic. So there is uh, now an additional storage item that we could build. As you saw, we are starting to gather straw, uh, and that is the haystack. Um, now, I usually put them nearby where my fields are going to be. So my, my farm fields are going to be here. I think we can put one here for now. Um, they'll craft the haystack and start storing hay there. All right, and as you can see, we uh, got three more villagers and that gave us uh, another three knowledge for hitting uh, or for breaking the, um, the 30 uh, population level. Um, some people have no warm clothing, so we need more skins. Uh, that's just gonna, I think, take time to get produced. We've got those on uh, auto produce. So they'll make them as fast as they can. Nothing to really do there. We'll go ahead and unlock pulse, pro pulse processing, which lets us uh, gather and um, grind down into, uh, you know, something we can eat. Uh, things like wild peas, I guess those would be, uh, legumes, that sort of thing. But what's more important about that is the fact that it's the last uh, technology in the Mesolithic. So that's going to do it for this uh, video. I think we'll leave it here. We've completed the Mesolithic era. Uh, in the next episode, we'll look at the Neolithic era where there are a lot of interesting technologies to explore. That might actually take two videos because in addition to things like uh, our first offensive structures or being able to build bridges and uh, giant stone structures, um, we're going to have to look at uh, farming and animal domestication. So there's a lot to cover uh, coming up. Uh, I will play offline until we're just about ready to unlock cereal domestication because that's a whole nother 15. And I'll see you back here soon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of them, please do give a like. It tells me where to focus on uh, making new videos. And if you want to get notified as these come out um, or any of my other videos, please do subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you back here soon.